My name is Heather. I am a uh, Foreign Service Officer and the Political Career Track. I've been in the Foreign Service since January 2013, and um, my first tour was in Guangzhou, China, um, where I was doing a two-year tour as a consular officer. I was born in Bangor, Maine. I lived there with my family until um, after I graduated high school, so it's from kind of a small town, a small place in the country. Um, didn't really have a lot of um, exposure to international stuff there, but um, when I was a junior in high school, I participated in this program that took a group of students to Europe and we had, half of it was sort of touring around learning about European politics. I just loved it and I thought this is what I want to do with my life. I graduated from Columbia University with a degree in anthropology, which I think is a fantastic degree if you want to be a foreign service officer because you really, um, if you're interested in cultures, um, in international issues, I mean, this is the basis of how to understand someone else. When I was a sophomore at um, in college, I applied for the Pickering Fellowship, and that's when I got it. And a family friend um, was the first one to tell me about the Foreign Service and what that was. Um, and then at the Career Services Office, I found out a little bit more about the Pickering Fellowship and was encouraged to apply by my um, career counselor. Oh, it's been an amazing benefit. Um, I think the by far the biggest benefit is the network that you build, um, both personally and professionally. So um, professionally, there are sort of a, a, in a way, an alumni network of fellows from both the Pickering and Wrangell programs that get together. Um, it's, a, it's an easy entree when you, when you meet someone for the first time, and they often organize events specifically for Pickering or Ringo Fellows, or um, they keep up a list of the names of fellows. So if you're going, you get a new assignment, and you're going to a new country, um, you can look to see who's there already. That is also an alumni of the fellowship, so that's great. And personally, I mean, my Pickering cohort, um, when I first entered the fellowship, we are still very close. Um, they're some of my closest friends now. Besides that, they organized internships for us, which were really, really useful in getting some experience before you actually um, enter the department. I found this fellowship to be extremely supportive in every step of the way. So advice for um, pursuing the Pickering Fellowship would be um, learning as much as you can about what the career really entails. There are so many wonderful aspects of being a foreign service officer, but it can be hard sometimes too. Um, uh, moving around to different countries all the time, being far away from friends and family. So the more you know about what um, the positives and difficulties of the career are, I think the more prepared you are for the application process. Um, and for the interview portions and all the things that you need to do and the more ready you are for the career as well. I think anyone should absolutely pursue the Pickering Fellowship. It is, um, if you want to join the Foreign Service, it's an amazing way to learn about the department before you show up to the job, to meet an incredible network of people, um, to get your education partially funded, which I mean in this, um, this economy and with um, the cost of education rising, that's just such a benefit. It's a win-win-win situation as far as I can see it. There's no other job like it in the world. Um, the, you are part of history, you're part of making the news, um, you're helping people every day, and the Pickering Fellowship just helps you through that process um, every step of the way, so I absolutely um, encourage everyone to apply.